Hi, this is Pooja and welcome to Food Without Borders. Today I'm going to show you a recipe which is... I was not supposed to shoot this video. This is a completely impromptu video which is why I look like a mess. I'm going to show you how I make this wonderful one pot dinner and this is spaghetti squash with some chorizo or sausage of your choice and we will saute it in a pan. It's a great recipe to have for dinners or if you are the kind of person who meal preps and likes to take leftovers to work this is a wonderful flavorful recipe that you will totally enjoy so let's get started so i have a pan heating up on medium high i am going to put some avocado oil you can use any oil of your choice i am not using a lot of oil here precisely because i'm using pork chorizos for this recipe and you could use any kind of uh, sausage that you want to use. You could use turkey sausage, you could use chicken sausage. Go for something that is a little more flavorful because that would help with flavoring your um, spaghetti squash here. Now, you could use andouille sausages, you could use Italian sausage because, you know, it's a spaghetti squash, Italian sausage, match made in heaven. I'm using chorizo because that's what I had at home and I love my sausage to be a little spicy which sounded so wrong but i guess you get it now i am going to wait till this heats up so the oil is nice and hot to this i am going to add the chorizo sausage and this is without the casing by the way and as you can see as the sausage is cooking, it renders oil because, you know, pork is usually fatty and which is why I did not add a lot of oil. Now I am going to add the onions and I'm just using a yellow onion. You could use red onions. I've just roughly diced them. I'm gonna saute this for another three minutes. I'm going to add some red bell peppers that I've diced. You can use any pepper of your choice. I just like red bell pepper, one, because it's sweeter, and two, it kind of complements the spaghetti squash because it's yellow and the red. It just, just makes your food more appetizing and you eat with your eyes first, right? And then your nose and then your mouth. So I have added the peppers here and I'm not cooking the peppers completely so that, you know, it starts to um, kind of get mushy. I'm just cooking, uh, I'm just sauteing it for like a couple of minutes just so that, you know, they're just cooked. I'm also going to season it with some salt. I am really seasoning it very, with very little salt only because my spaghetti that I roasted has some salt in it and I'm pretty sure the chorizo has some salt in it. And this is done. I am going to turn off the flame. And now let's talk about the spaghetti squash here. This is pre-roasted. Uh, I have a great recipe of how I roast my spaghetti squash and I will leave a link to the recipe in the description box so you can check that out. Now it's it's wonderful if you can pre-roast your spaghetti squash because you can leave it in the refrigerator for at least four or five days or you can freeze it. So all those folks who love meal prepping, this is great. Another thing that I love about this recipe is how fast, if you have your spaghetti squash pre-cooked, how fast this recipe can be done. I'm going to add the spaghetti squash in. And if you remember, I have turned off the flame. All I'm going to do is mix the spaghetti squash with the peppers and the chorizo. And for the measurements and the written instructions of this recipe, I will leave a link to my blog in the description box so you can go check that out. Now, what I am going to do is put some lime juice in it and it all depends on how much lime juice you want I like it kind of tart because it brings out a really good flavor with the chorizo but this lime was really juicy so I'm only going to use half of it and that's about it folks this is done easy peasy lime squeezy right i'm gonna grab some here in a plate mm. 
guys, so, so flavorful. Onion is too crunchy. Mm. Now, what I like to do is I make this batch, I have dinner, and then the leftovers are perfect for lunches to work. So, you know, you can make it ahead at night and then take it to work. It's easier, healthier, so you make a healthy choice at work, right? So give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because it validates what I do and I really enjoy making these videos. So until next time, bye. What do you do with this hand? Okay, never mind. Mind you, if you comment in the comments that I look like shit, I will come and punch you in the face because I know I look like shit, okay? Anyway.